What's going on guys? It's King Tuts Pro. Welcome back to another tutorial. Guys, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do Phase Banks intro in Adobe Premiere Pro. Yo, what's going on guys? So, before I actually begin with the tutorial or the tutorial part of the video, I want to go ahead and do a microphone giveaway. So, I'm going to be doing a giveaway for you guys. So, it is the uh, Studio Series SL300 USB condenser microphone. This is the microphone that I use, okay? So, I'm going to be giving this away to one of you guys. So all you have to do to win this thing is leave a like on this video, subscribe, and then once you guys have done those two, the last thing that you guys need to do is sign up to Epidemic Sound. A link will be down in the description of this video. So if you guys want to actually um, count your vote as as an actual vote, all you have to do is just screenshot or take a picture of uh, that you actually signed up uh, for Epidemic Sound. And I'm, I'm assuming you guys have done the other two. Um, so just DM me on Instagram. That's the only way it's going to work. So once you guys DM me on Instagram with the uh, screenshot of you signing up with Epidemic Sound, you guys will get a 30-day uh, free trial, just letting you guys know, so which allows you to get royalty-free music for your YouTube videos. So this thing with the royalty-free subscription is probably the best. All right, guys, so sorry about that. My phone just went off. But uh, yeah, so you guys can get a chance to win this. Uh, link is in the description and everything on how to enter. All right, guys, let's get started. Before I get started, you will have to download two uh, projects or presets for Premiere. One of them is the actual, you know, Zoom, uh, Zoom uh, whip transition, which isn't for free, unfortunately, but it's only like seven euros, I think, which is like nine, ten dollars, uh, US dollars, which is really cheap guys come on and then um, the uh, other preset you're gonna have to download is the uh, shake effect which I will link down in the description so shout out to both of the creators uh, so the other part here is the pictures so you guys are gonna have to have at least five pictures um, so you have the first one the second third fourth and fifth and then the last one is just gonna be this one here just look up like 80s uh, 80s retro background and a picture of these um, will show up in Google so you can use that. The next thing you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to cut the pictures to sync with the kicks in the music, okay? And you can hear it throughout the video here. So if I push play. You guys do want to have your project settings to be in 1920 by 1080 right here, the frame size 1920 by 1080. So go and click on the picture here on the clip and go to the effect controls and you're gonna have this here. So go to the motion, go to scale and just scale this up. And you wanna make sure that you drag this one here. This one will control your Y, this one will control your X. So move this to how you want it to look like, okay? And I would suggest you guys work with half, not full, because if you're working with full, it's gonna be a little bit more CPU intensive. So you wanna go ahead and just do this for each of the pictures, okay? And just go to the scale, just increase this. You don't have to do any crazy uh, keyframing or anything. And we're gonna change the Y here so they can all be in the image. So you can just click and just drag this here and uh, just do that with each image. And I'll get back to you guys once I have finished doing this. All right, guys, so I went ahead and just scaled up all of the pictures here to fit the frame, which is a 1920 by 1080. Once you guys do that, you want to um, download the presets, like I said, and then once you have them saved on your computer, go to the Effects tab, and you're not going to have this here. I'm going to show you guys how to get there. So you're going to have the presets here. Right-click on that folder, go to Import Presets, and go to uh, wherever you downloaded them, which should be the Sheng Da uh, preset, which is the actual zoom transitions and you're also going to want to add the Jarl's uh, Deadpool shake preset and you want to import that one as well so import both of those okay I'm not going to import it but because I already have them so just import this one the STV5 once you guys import both of them go to the presets okay and you're going to have the Chung Dot transitions and you're also going to have the Jarl's Deadpool handheld camera presets so once you guys have those, first we're gonna go into the Shungda transitions. So go to this folder here, and now you're gonna have a bunch of other folders. So you're gonna have the edge spin, RGB split, rolling spin, swish pan, and zoom. We're gonna be working with the, I think it's the swish pan. So open that folder up, and you're gonna have a whole bunch of transitions which look a little bit confusing, I know. So we're gonna be working with the tilt up in, and we're gonna be working with the tilt down 
in, all right, if that makes sense. So we're first gonna go with the tilt down in and drag that on top of your clip there. And then you're gonna see that it kind of goes out of the frame, so we're gonna fix that. So we're gonna go to the effects controls while you have while you have your video selected. Go to the position here and change the X and Y values so it fits in your video. So we're not gonna mess with the Y, but we're gonna mess with the X. So drag this to fit the video here and drag the Y so you can see what's happening. I might wanna go like around here. So let's see where this, oh, here we go. So we're gonna drag that here, maybe around here. So it depends on what picture you're working with. This all varies depending on the picture you have. So, all right, here we go. So we're gonna go into the mirror and then it's gonna be the, the second one here. So click on this one and select it first of all, and then click and drag this one and drag it to the left. And you're gonna see that it kind of uh, has a reflection there, which is totally fine. Just drag it to the left. If you guys don't want her to like be in the second part, you don't have to. I don't, so I'm just gonna drag her out of it so you can just sign, kind of see that, and you're good there. So you're gonna do this with every clip that you add. So we have this one, so this is gonna be the uh, down in, which is this one. So now, we're, instead of adding down in, we're gonna do the tilt up in. So we're gonna drag that one on the second clip here, and we're gonna do the same thing. So kind of go towards the end here, adjust the X value here, and you might want to change the second one here, which is the mirror, and click on that one, and select it first of all, and then click and drag this to the left here, so it's around, I don't know, maybe around here, which is pretty good, and I think that looks pretty good, so if I go back, yep, looks pretty good to me, so it goes down, up, and then we're going to do down again. And you can always copy the effects that you first applied on any of these clips. So right click and go to copy, go to any other clip and right click and click paste attributes and click OK. And that way you don't have to do it all over again. And you will have to change some of these values. So adjust the Y here and adjust the X position. And you might want to change this one here. So click on the second one and I'm going to drag this to the left, but not too much. We still want that around there. And if you want to scale this up, if you have to, you know, do that. So I'm gonna drag this up a little bit so it's zoomed in. And I'm gonna move the Y so it looks like that. And then I'm gonna move this one as well. And there you go, perfect. So now I'm gonna work on the second one. All right, so this one is the tilt down. So now we're gonna do tilt up, this one, yeah. So right click, click copy, go to the fourth clip here and right click and go to paste attributes, click OK. And then you're gonna have the same clips applied. So adjust the values here again. And I think this one should be fine how it is. Just move this a little bit. And then do the same thing. Copy the th this one here, which should be the down, uh, down in. Copy it. Go to the last clip here and go to paste attributes. Click OK. And then zoom in through here. And I might want to adjust this here. So I'm going to decrease the scale a little bit. I might want to move this a little bit up and a little bit to the left here. And I don't want like two of her hands there, so I'm gonna go to the second one here. And I'm gonna drag this to the left. Mm, maybe a little bit, I think that's fine. I guess we're gonna have to zoom in a little bit. So scale it up a little bit, but not too much. Something like that, and I'm gonna adjust the Y. Something like that. So it's okay if you have a little bit of reflection in there, it's not gonna kill you. And then you wanna do the same thing with the last final clip, so right click on the video, go to copy, go to the last one, right click, click paste attributes, click OK. And then now you're gonna have the same thing here. Uh, for this one though, you might wanna reset the scale because it's already a 19 by 20 by 1080 uh, resolution. So with that one, we're gonna adjust the uh, parameters here. So we're gonna go there. We might wanna zoom out of here. So we're gonna go to the end, there we go. And I'm gonna scale this up kinda like that. I'm gonna move the position so it's centered a little bit. Might wanna scale it up a little bit like that. And I'm gonna drag this down so it's like that. Sweet. So now all we gotta do now is just add the text, which is pretty easy. So this is what we have. So all we gotta do now is just drag the text. And what I would do, the text first of all is called Surfing Capital. I would not suggest you guys add it through Premiere Pro because that is gonna be a pain in the butt. It's really slow, very sluggish. So if you guys have Illustrator or Photoshop, use that, okay? So create a new document and just type in Surfing Capital, create the title there and just save it as a PNG. Then in 
whether if you want it in white or black font, drag that on top of your footage and it should be like this. That way you don't have to work through all of the Premiere uh, titles and all that crap. So um, you're gonna have all of this here. Now, of course, nothing's happening. So we have to first cut this by pressing Command K to get rid of that clip. And now you have something like this, okay? We want that shakiness effect to happen though, so go to the effects, and we're not gonna add any of these anymore because we're done with those. We're gonna go to the, the Jarl's Deadpool uh, handheld camera shake preset. Go to this folder here, or you can go to the oversized footage. You can do for any footage, and I like to do the small camcorder, so drag that on top of that text there. You know, your text should kind of shake like that. The next thing you need to do is add the actual RGB split, which should be in the Shung dot transitions. So we're gonna make three copies of this though. So hold down option and click and drag that text or image three times. So you have one, two, and three. All right, and then from here, we're gonna go into the effects, go to that folder, the transitions, go to the seamless transitions like this. And then in here, we're gonna go into the RGB split. And then we're gonna do, uh, we have bottom, mid, and top. So we're gonna add the top one to the top of that uh, text there. And then we're gonna do the middle and then we're gonna do the bottom. So now if you scroll through this video, you can see how it's kind of, kind of has that halo RGB split effect, okay? Now all we're gonna do is highlight all of these, right click and go to nest clip, or nest, sorry. Give it a name, I'm just naming this title. And we're gonna do, uh, again, uh, the handheld effect. We should have done this after, but it's okay. So we're gonna drag this again, and that will allow you to apply it to all of this. So now, if you render it by pressing enter, it's gonna go ahead and render out all of the frames so you guys can play it back. So it's gonna look something like that. So of course, you can always adjust the, uh, the outro part of this. Um, I'm not gonna take my time to do that. I'm just gonna show you guys how to do the main effect, okay? Now, once you have the music um, enabled, it's gonna look something like this. So I, like I said, it's a little bit more difficult in a way. So if you guys haven't used Premiere Pro, it might be a little bit difficult at first, but it's definitely doable. That's how you do it in Premiere Pro. So if you guys found this tutorial helpful in any way, be sure to leave a like, guys. Subscribe, turn on the bell notification, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.